I love popcorn. It's delicious, it's healthy, and it's great for demonstrating heat transfer. In this video, we will make popcorn in three different ways to demonstrate the three different types of heat transfer, conduction, convection, and radiation. In order to understand what's going on here, we need to first understand the principles of temperature and heat. Temperature is a measure of the motional energy inside of a system. You can think of it as how much molecular motion is going on inside. As something is heated up, the molecules inside move around more and more. If a liquid is heated, it turns into a gas. A gas has more motional freedom than a liquid does. Heat is the energy transferred between systems, in our case, between the popper and the popcorn kernels. Inside of the kernel, there's water molecules. When heated, these molecules turn to a gas. The water vapor wants to escape from inside the tiny kernel, and as the heat continues to rise, the pressure builds up until the water bursts out through the hard outer hole, and we get popcorn. There are three methods that we can use to heat up the popcorn kernels. The first one is conduction. We'll be using an electric stirring popper. This popper consists of a hot plate and a stir arm that's going to stir the kernels to keep them from burning. Conduction is the transfer of heat through a medium. The hot plate is a great conductor. A heater on the inside heats up the underside of the plate and the heat is then transferred through the plate and to the kernel sitting on top. Convection is the transfer of heat through a moving medium like water or air. This can be seen in an air popper. If you don't already have one, you can find them online or in many stores. See how the air popper heats the air around the corn? The kernels don't even touch the hot plates on the sides, but they're heated by the hot air flowing around them. Microwave popcorn is perfect for showing radiation. Radiation is the transfer of heat through electromagnetic waves. When the microwaves hit the popcorn kernels, they transfer energy exciting the molecules and causing the temperature to rise. So there you have it. We've made popcorn using convection, conduction, and radiation. The only thing we have left to do is decide which kind of heat transfer tastes the best. 